Is your passion to serve God like a traffic light experience? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. A survey done 30 years ago among readers of Discipleship Journal, which seems to still be applicable today, ranked areas of greatest spiritual challenge to them. Materialism, pride, self-centeredness, laziness, anger, bitterness, sexual lust, envy, gluttony, lying. Survey respondents noted temptations were more potent when they had neglected their time with God, 81%, and when they were physically tired, 57%. Resisting temptation was accomplished by prayer, 84%, avoiding compromising situations, 76%, Bible study, 66%, and being accountable to someone, 52%. Today's Gospel reading from Matthew provides us with the names of the twelve apostles, which formed the inner circle of Jesus among his many disciples. While Mark and Luke detail and separate how they were called and chosen and how they were sent on mission, Matthew just presumes how they were chosen individually. To distinguish, a disciple is a follower who learns and puts to action in his life the teachings of a teacher. On the other hand, An apostle is sent on mission to bring his learnings from the teacher to others. By way of example, we are all called to become disciples of Christ by virtue of our baptism and confirmation, including the priests and religious who do the apostolic work of the church. For the twelve apostles of Jesus, they had a special role of passing on to others the teachings of Jesus and as servant leaders with Peter at the helm, handed over to the bishops and the pope their anointment. Their first instruction from Jesus, as in this reading, interestingly, is to evangelize their own people, the Jews. They will be given special powers to heal the sick and exorcise demons. Only upon Jesus' resurrection do they get their next assignment, to make disciples of all nations. That is when Paul comes into the picture. He goes to the Gentiles or pagans to spread the good news. With the intense training that they had, one would expect them to be fully equipped to go on mission, and to stay the course even when trials come. Yet they deserted Jesus when the cross was exposed, starting with Peter denying him publicly and Judas betraying him to his persecutors. Jesus also calls each one of us to repentance, transformation, and mission. Some of us choose to be active and committed in the parish or in the renewal community. Perhaps due to some conversion experience we may have had, or because we were attracted to some nice and pleasant aspect of the church in the beginning, but the passion and intensity of involvement may wane after some time. What went wrong when the passionate turned their backs on their service? Perhaps they may have served only for self-glory. It was easy for the lure of sin to overcome them, or busy in secular work has become more appealing than buisit work in the Lord's vineyard. Buisit is a unique word in Tagalog that pertains to a whining, complaining attitude. Or perhaps they may have gotten hurt by someone in community and easily gave up. Half-hearted in service, onion-skinned, or whatever, they lie low or quit and search for another community that is perfect. But as we know, there is no perfect community or church because all of these are populated by imperfect people who are all struggling as they search for meaning in their own lives. The cross will emerge and be exposed wherever they go. Jesus' call is a choice we make. We can be pure in our resolve to serve Him in the midst of problems we face, or we can continue to bounce around and be unfulfilled, experiencing a traffic light kind of faith and service, stop and go, stop and go endlessly. The key that unlocks the door of commitment to serve Him is prayer. A daily, unhurried, undistracted prayer time keeps us consistent in serving God even as we go through the storms in our life. It is grace that continues to flow in us in sufficient waves from daily communion with our Lord that gives us the courage and the strength to persist and persevere. We will see His glory emerge from the cross of our suffering for His grace is sufficient and our holiness becomes emergent and magnificent. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, May my determination to serve you not blow hot and cold, dependent only on pleasant experiences and feelings, but be constant in pursuit of holiness. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. 
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.